is uh, more of a more of a travel vlog uh, than anything. Uh, no verge currency updates in this video. A uh, little bit of VVS diamond stuff in this video. Um, but more of a travel vlog than anything. So if you're looking for XVG content, sorry, not your video. Uh, but uh, I wanted to give some travel vlog updates uh, for people interested in living in the city. Uh, and then uh, some uh, stories and some interesting stuff, uh, business stuff. Uh, so in the business world, honestly, uh, working on uh, a lot of the infrastructure uh, in uh, Ukraine, energy infrastructure stuff. They need uh, they need it's more economical and more practical. Like uh, MSRP on some of the uh, electric vehicles, like work van style vehicles made in China, was like fourteen thousand U.S. dollars or something like that uh, for the the lower models. I was like, dang, want to make me a dealership here? Uh, maybe could even assemble them things here in the United States. They're not self-driving like Tesla's. I don't know if they meet the United States safety standards, but they're muy necesito in uh, Ukraine right now. Uh, so uh, because of the, uh, both the economics and the infrastructure stuff. So working on some stuff there. Not getting paid a fortune for doing that stuff, but it is uh, very interesting work that I... Uh, am uh, happy to be able to participate in and by the way uh my connection out there um i was able to uh, i met through a bitcoin meetup public open to the public in hong kong back in 2017 and then uh somebody else that i mentioned earlier that's the plug uh i guess metaphorically uh for electric car chargers which might be helpful uh there in ukraine as well um i met him through linkedin a lot of people uh i've met through linkedin i got connected with uh eric chen ceo of all plast jc on uh one of the largest uh uh music festival organizers in asia met him through linkedin um like linkedin and uh meetups are a great networking tool and lyft is a great networking tool as well speaking of lyft uh if fingers crossed if the uh kiosks uh for there's a self uh serve kiosk system and an online system the online system might not work for me because i have to wait for the tags of the mail if i do the online system but the self-serve kiosks uh should get me on the road driving lyft tomorrow so if you're driving to the state of colorado watch out for me uh the highways and stuff keep your distance i'll be a good driver uh usually uh but yeah get out the way ludicrous y'all already know my brain works on lap, rap lyrics uh so anyway that's good uh so we'll be on the up and up with that uh and uh yeah and uh just talk to someone in lebanon about business in mexico and all sorts of different stuff people come to me with deals that are like talking about like less than a hundred dollars type of things and people come to me talking about like hundreds of billions of dollars type of thing and so far uh no luck with some of the hundred billion dollar type of things though I need to find somebody that's connected with Alec Monopoly to come sign and validate my painting. It is a real painting, but I just need him to sign and validate it, and then uh, it'll be a win-win. Um, anyway, uh, so, yeah, anybody know him, hit me up. Uh, but anyway, uh, all right, uh, business type of stuff. Uh, I registered the domain name boulderfurnished.apartments and when I first got here, uh, I'm gonna plug my phone in just in case it runs out of battery, it shouldn't, but I'm going to. Uh, when I first moved in here, I'm gonna talk about the uh, real estate and moving business stuff out here. Um, so, uh, First, when I first got my three pieces of furniture over there, I got the domain name Boulder Furnished Dot Apartments. And some of the moving people, uh, they were asking me, what am I doing for my startups? And I totally, it, that 
business play totally slipped my mind uh, as I was thinking about the VBS Diamonds thing. Second layer Bitcoin protocol uh, where basically using hexadecimal code, we can replicate smart contracts on the Bitcoin network uh, and be able to do NFT platform with uh, checkout using XVG and other uh, cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and other altcoins, uh, and be able to make a more efficient NFT marketplace than what's already existing. Uh, and then also, of course, I eventually do want to do Stoner Coin, uh, which I will use. Uh, the XVG network uh, will be a part of it uh, in, in regards to, uh, separate from the, like, uh, it won't be a, a, a fork or anything in the Verge blockchain, uh, but I'll be making my own token and it will uh, reference the, the Verge blockchain in some regards. Uh, so there's that startercoin.com, uh, which eventually will be developed, then, but for the short term, vvs.diamonds. Uh, but for the Boulder Furnished Out Apartments, uh, uh, interestingly enough, first off, the other day, there was the people throwing the snappets, the poppets uh, that they bought from Target. Right as I, soon as I started recording my video, and I don't know who they were, but if y'all were trying to make the rent prices go down, uh, snappets don't sound like real guns. Use real guns next time, but just don't hurt nobody. Uh, I'm just joking. Uh, my landlords, I'm just joking. Uh, don't actually do that. I didn't find it funny when they first did that because it's just like I've been around gun shots and jumpings and stuff like that. So it's just like, that's not funny to me. Uh, but for real, I do have friends that would like to move into this apartment complex and this Mountain View room I got, if I didn't have a disability, and I didn't ask for a disability room, and by the way, people with mobility disabilities are on the first floor, so it's not like I'm taking somebody else's space, uh, that, uh, needs a disability room, uh, though I'm paying in the two grand range for my Mountain View room, while this same floor plan would be like 4,000 range for a Mountain View typically rather than a courtyard view. So I got the Ainsley hookup, uh, for real, for real, for real. And, uh, so shout out to this apartment complex. No, I'm not actually, uh, saying people should fire gunshots outside our apartment building to get people to move out of here and get the rent prices down. Uh, though it is getting booked up. There's like one vacancy available of this floor plan available now. And uh, some of my boys are, uh, uh, some of my friends would like to uh, move into this apartment complex. Shout out to Mike. It's his adoption day today. He's celebrating that. It's also his dog's Milo uh, birthday. So he's celebrating the day that he got adopted. Uh, he's the dude cooking the steak the other day. If you need a private chef uh, or whatever, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, like, he's the man. Uh, but he's going to be out here for the next, uh, 16 months or so. Anyway, uh, so, but before my 10 minute Twitter blue limit is up, uh, uh, when I first, those three pieces of furniture turned out, I measured the width of the, uh, sofa and the width of that sofa would have been too high to fit in the elevator, but I figured out, well, the movers figured out that you could just slide it in and then put it like that up there in the elevator. So I could have gotten all this here myself and I didn't realize my boy, uh, Mike was in town, uh, and he could have helped me out. We could have just got a U-Haul of 79 cents a mile and moved it ourselves. But I first got quoted at $505 to move those three pieces of furniture from a furniture outlet 25 minutes away. Second part, uh, moving company quoted me at 870, uh, 570 something dollars. Then the third one, uh, they quoted me at 850, 870, something in that range. Uh, and then I was managed to finagle a deal and don't expect this deal, uh, if you ain't me, uh, but I managed to finagle a deal, uh, for like a hundred something dollars for pickup truck or 200 something dollars for a closed truck. Uh, in case it's writing, you don't want a pickup truck, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but anyway, uh, so there's big business in that. I got the domain name Boulder, not first apartments, but there's a lot of stuff with liability. If you're moving really expensive furniture and scraping hardwood floors, and then also worker injuries, you need insurance for all those things. Uh, but there's people paying, uh, some places around here, people pay $15,000 a month. So real estate is a huge business out here. So maybe I will do something with Boulder furnished out apartments 
eventually, but by, by now, and by the time it was up, 